Mortals, it is your god, it's Chi Chi Black here with another Doki Doki Literature Club Let's Play. We're just gonna get right back on into this Let's Play. We're, go we're actually going to read it out this time. Not in my voice, though. Well, not just only in my voice, but in other voices as well. You can use the skip button to fast forward through the text you've already read. Got it. Oh, that's right, we were doing a poem the last time we played this. Okay, so what shall we pick out of, out of 20 words? Okay, this will be fun. I like dark things, so let's find some dark things. Uncanny? Tragedy, that sounds like a great word. Hmm. Frightening? Yeah, let's do frightening. I do approve of the little chibis in the left corner there. Ooh, massacre sounds lovely. Apparently we're going for a dark turn. Because you know I like my dark turns. Agonizing, that's a bad word, isn't it? Go with pain for that one. we got to go through a lot of words, apparently. This is going to be a very dark story, and I approve of it. Oh, there's no bad words on this one. Alright, fine. We'll go with existence on that one. Go with cry on that one. Oh, explosions. We love explosions. I'm not going to do alone, because not even I like to be alone. How about broken? Hmm. Nightgown? What does a nightgown have to do with this poem? We'll do clouds for that one. Because, you know, gloomy clouds can be a thing, can't they? Ooh, judgment. Because I love to judge you mortals. Okay, seven more. Misfortune? Ooh. This is going to be a very dark story. A very dark poem. It's not even a story. I'm saying it wrong. Speaking of dark, let's use the word dark. Crimson, because we like red. Incongruent? What does that even mean? The fact that I'm in Chi Chi's body and don't even know that word. That is very sad. We'll do aura, because the rose aura is beautiful and elegant. Grief, sadness. Ooh, do we want to go to. Ooh, rose. Definitely, because rose is elegant. And why not? We'll do graveyard. Let's see how this poem goes. I thought the girls are gonna like this. Hi again, Chi Chi Black. Hi, Monica. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Nah, don't worry. Why would I run? Not, mer not, not very many areas I can go to. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Because I am a promising goddess, after all. Back at the literature club, I was, I was there. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Chi Chi Black. I can't even read this in my other voice. Hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. I mean, I was kind of forced. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. I'm not a male. Are you assuming me my gender? So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. I didn't. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But I mean, I got nothing better to do. 
But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Like you Ningen scared me. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. She has a manga collection? Natsuki finds herself stuck between St. Monica and manga. That is kind of a hard uh, differentiation, isn't it? Monica and manga. Not that hard to say, though, if you're smart enough. Manga is literature! She's not wrong. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Chichi Black always gives it her, her best. Not a guy. As long as she's having fun. She helps me with busy work without me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. I don't clean. What? I may cook, but I don't clean your room. Not your slave. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. I mean it is. You almost set your house on fire once. Oh my. How did she do that exactly is what I want to know. You two are really good friends, aren't you? Might be a little jealous. How come? You and Chichi Black can become good friends too. I'm sorry if my, ling my, my, my impersonations are terrible, I know. Why am I so silent? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought Yuri even brought you something today, you know. But wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Why to me? Why always me? Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Kind of curious now. But never mind. Sorry, made it sound like a big deal, and it's really not. Then why are you blushing? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Do you ever? Ningans never think. Guess I mean it's up to me to rescue the situation, of course. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Now, will it, though? Or am I just lying? I want to make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. Exactly, I'm a nice goddess. Well, here. I still want to know what it is. She pulled out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Accidentally? That's not accidental. She's doing it on purpose. She even picked out a book that she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yori, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I Man, I do like books, after all. I take after Chi-Chi, sadly. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Kind of curious as to what kind of book she gave me. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica have, are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yori's face is already buried in the book. She must really like books. I can't help but notice her intense expression. I can't talk! Like she was waiting for this chance. What is she in the closet for? I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. Looks like the same book that she lent to me. So wait, are we re reading the same book? She noticed me. Great. Stop sneaking glances, I can see you. Filthy Ningen. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. Are you sure about that? But I just re I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Why does she have two copies of the same book? 
Does she like it that much? I mean, I, I just happened to buy two of them. So you wasted your money. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. Sounds like a good read. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well... Yori closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. Who the heck is Markov? Even I'm not that intelligent. An ominous looking eye symbol on the front. This sounds interesting. Yeah, don't spoil me. But anything I hate is spoilers. It's about this girl in high school who moves in with her young long lost younger sister. I can't improv. This ain't my life, I'm sorry. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. Sounds like definitely sounds like a good read. I've got to get into this book. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... Doc, isn't it? But we like Doc! Yori made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that Doc turn came from nowhere. But once again, we like a Doc turn to a story. I really gotta read this book now. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? Uh, no, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. She she seems to like dark stories too. I'm already liking this girl. She's not so bad for an Ingen. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Kind of like Rosé, I feel. Or Zamasu, same person. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be na the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. I really haven't. This sounds very intriguing. Well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Oh, great. When I like things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Oh, you're one of those. I really don't think you need to worry, though. That just means you're passionate about reading. Which is a good thing. Reading is good for your brain. It's what makes you intelligent, to say the least. Most Ningans don't do that. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it too, right? You don't have to! Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Make up your mind, you Ningan! Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? Wait, am I going to sit next to her? Yep, I'm sitting next to her. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. I said it in my voice. Crap! It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, I don't do it very often either, so you better be grateful. Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. Open the book and start the prologue. The story ought to be interesting. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. She is very tolerable for an Ingen. She's not looking at her book. Why is she looking at me? I feel uncomfortable. Why are you reading from mine? You got your own. I was just... 
Yori, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. And you're doing it again! I mean... Here, yeah, this should work, right? I feel like we're going fond of her when I'm not when I'm not supposed to. Rose is probably going to question me about this. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touched. Oh my! I'm going to have my own head. I'm going, aren't I? I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. She's not half bad from the side. Definitely makes it easier to read, that's for sure. So, we're shipping me with Yori right now. Just lovely. Now people are going to call start calling me the slut. I still don't like the fact that you can't change genders in this story. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I mean, how couldn't I get distracted? Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading. Not as used to reading. I can't even read. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. You're lucky I'm being patient. Yori no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Is it's not going to tell me what it was about? I, I feel like we're shipping each other. Hey, Yori. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Wait, how? You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. I mean, it's not like you're obvious. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. She remains silent for a moment. But Chi Chi Black, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Not exactly. I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self conscious about that sort of thing. Why am I being nice all of a sudden? I guess I'm all meant that it's kind of cute. What? That, that is not adorable! Don't get the wrong idea! Okay, everyone! Saved by Monica. Is it Monica or Monica? I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have time to- We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kinda down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not- it's fine. She was nervous because we were together. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know. That's a good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish its first two chapters in your own time. I still want to know what the poem's going to be about. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Of course I did. Another simpleton. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! They're very enthusiastic. A little too enthusiastic if you... You ask me. Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I, 
can tell who's more responsible in the group. Natsuki and Yori reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. You're probably not going to do a lot of this reading on my own. It's getting a little hard to do. But I think we're going to end it here. I think this is a good place to end it. But uh, you all know what to do. If you like, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more of my content. And also Chi Chi's content and other content on this channel. But until next time, everybody, you know the drill. I am beauty, I am grace. And of course, I'll stab you in the face. Stab you later, Ningans. Hey everyone, did you enjoy this video? Then be sure to hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe if you want more of my content. And until the next time, everyone, this has been your TV Mama Chi Chi. Now get back to your studies before I get angry.